If not, we can open up to questions right away. I just open it up. You want to open it up? Alrighty. So actually, to get us started here today, um, you know what? Too. Um, let's see if just to get us going. Jeremy, if you want to ask you our first question, yeah. I know you guys are pretty competitive and stuff. So who's the better softball player between you two? Ooh. That's no question. Hitting is definitely me. It's definitely me. Outfielding definitely me. He uh, got in. At least right. one at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Hitting I was, definitely I was me. Infielding in definitely me. Outfield definitely me. So that means I'm the best player. That's complete opposite of what I said, but <laughs> I, guess, I guess you'll see uh, today when we go over yeah, the field. Right. We'll see. We'll prove. Even though we're on the same team, but we will see. <laughs> I'm going to play all positions. Uh, first off, welcome to Allentown. Uh, is there something you guys did coming in here today? Uh, Council, what did you do? Um, well, we, we did. Uh, I wasn't down here. We wasn't down here yesterday. Yeah, we just we got, got here today. Time. Yeah, so we uh, stopped and got something to eat at. Uh, it was like two minutes from here. I'm not sure where it, what it was called either. Pretty good. So, what do you guys expect the turnout to be today? And what brings you here today? Uh, well, really here just uh, to play in the softball game, support uh, teammate Devonte, and you know have a fun time here with all the fans that come to support a uh, good cause. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of people. Uh, ever since we first got here, people have been filtering in, and you know we got a while until uh, game time yet. Um, but I think it's going to be a good turnout, uh, Philadelphia fans, and then um, all the other players we have here as well. I feel like uh, we'll get quite a few people here. In this past year, Brett, in, in terms of, the, of, of Devontae, what have you guys learned about him? What stands out to you as a, as a teammate? Uh, I mean, from my standpoint, from the um, defensive side of the ball, you know I see him all the time. I mean, he's a hard worker. Uh, he grinds. I mean, he, he want to perfect his craft each and every day. I mean, he's the first one in, the last one to leave. Even if it's catching tennis balls or catching extra balls, you know, or studying film, but you know, he definitely has great character on and off the field, and you know, he's a great leader in our building as with the Eagles. So, you know, I'm excited to, you know, be here for him to support him with this softball game, and you know, he's on our team, so hopefully, we get the win for him. AJ yesterday was talking about the possibilities of Devontae as a number two next to him, and other teams number two corners having to guard him. What kind of challenge is that going to be? And what kind of challenge is that going to present to opposing defenses when you have those two wide receivers together? Yeah, the addition of A.J. Brown, just adding a receiver with his skill set uh, is going to complement Smitty really well. And um, I think all of us are excited to have him in the building. But uh, yeah, seeing Devonta grow from year one, just this, into this off season, he's come a long ways uh, from being really great already. And, uh, I'm excited to watch him uh, when the time comes because he's going to do a lot of special things. In what ways has he grown? Uh, you know, just his route running, just fine tuning things, uh, just a little bit more detailed. You know, uh, just like any year, you just grow, you develop, um, just get better. Yeah. Avante, what is your favorite addition to this defense? Obviously, how we added Wayne well, Allen, that is Hassan Reddick. James Bradbury, Jordan Davis. How excited are you for year two in Jonathan Gannon's system, and how versatile can you be playing safety, playing quarterback? How excited are you for this defense upcoming? Well, I'm excited. I mean, I mean, we can take it as far as we want if we all, you know, take care of our fundamentals and details for the most part. And, you know, whatever the JG calls, you know, we just make sure we execute it in the you know, fastest and hardest possible way. And, you know, me, wherever I'm at on the field, you know, I'm just going to make sure I get my all. You know, make sure I'm out there. You know, dedicating all my time and, and, and energy to my teammates, and that's for the most part. If we all just work together as one, we'd be a really good defense. Are you guys both in the derby too? Are you both participating in that? Or you playing in the game? I'm doing the derby. I'm doing the derby too. All right, so no let's get to it. What's the number? <laughs> One more than anybody else, because I can hit them all day. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to hit two more to him, then I'm going to win. No, I'm going to win. Did you guys challenge AJ Brown at all? Say that again. You guys challenge AJ Brown at all? No, I don't think he's much of a baseball yeah, player. He's probably, he's probably, he, I don't know that for sure, but I, 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 can, I just feel like he's. He's an All American. He got drafted. God damn. God damn. What? What's up? It has to be for a champion, you know. Baseball is something that's all. I challenge him out on the field. Yeah, we're not going to talk about the derby with him. The derby with him. He's losing a little money. Yeah, I, I don't know. I got to see him take a practice swing down. But if you say he got drafted, uh, it's tough.
You might have some power. A lot of excitement. A lot of excitement, a lot of new faces. What is your guys' level of excitement going into this season versus years past? Uh, it's just a new year, I think. Um, every year is an exciting year, you know, because it's a fresh start for you and, you know, you're able to, you know, build on something and, you know, go into a team with new faces and, you know, make new friendships and, you know, that's that's what it's all about at the end of the day. You know, you got a locker room, you build together, and, you, and that starts now in OTA, boot camp, and then you go into the season all through it. And I feel like that's the you know, most important part, connecting. On that so, note, a few of you guys went to Celtics games. You guys went going last week here. What do events like this away from, from Nova Care do for you guys as a group? Uh, I think it just makes the team closer. Um, and then just in everything you do, if you're closer to the person, it's easier to compete against them. Um, it's easier to play for them. You know, if I have a relationship with Devontae, I'm going to give a little bit more on the field because I care about him. Not that I wasn't given everything before, but uh, just building bonds, it just makes you closer. And football is the ultimate team game. So I feel like uh, the closest teams have a slight edge, and there's not many edges in the NFL. I heard Devontae's a good Celtics fan. What was he like at, at that game in Boston? Uh, you know, it wasn't the best game for Boston. Um, there was, uh, you know, Jason Tatum, I think he had 10 points. I think that's uh, one of Devontae's favorite players. Uh, so that wasn't, he wasn't too excited. You know, they, they kind of crapped the bed that game, but they came back and won it and had a good good showing. So he's excited about them now for sure. MLB players, they each have like their own walk-up songs when they go up to the box. So I want to ask y'all, like, what would your walk-up song be? Oh, that's a good question. I got to actually go hit up my Spotify before I go out there. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go. I'm going to be sung by Roddy Rich and Young Thug. I, think. I can't think of the name of the song, though. Yeah, I got to go check out my Spotify before I hop out there. Hey, Dallas, what does that addition of A.G. Brown do for a player like this in the offense? Um, I think it just opens up the middle of the field. Uh, they're going to have draw attention to him, whether he gets doubled, Smitty gets doubled, whether I get doubled, there's going to be a uh, single coverages for somebody. And, uh, you know, if we can take advantage of that and then continue to just grow on what we did last year, I think we have potential to be a really great offense. Dallas, what was the number one thing you learned from Zach Ertz during your years together? Um... Number one thing, probably just how to be a true professional. Uh, just coming in the building, uh, going to work every day, not taking any days off, uh, just doing the right thing all the time. You think that Carson cell phone games, Jake Elliott, and Richard Rogers were the two good guys there. Um, across the board, who are the best guys on the team now? Um, and we still got those two. I mean, yeah, Jake's, I Jake's tough. I mean, Jake's just, back. I don't know. Anything on the, anything that Jake's not one of the best at. Uh, yeah, I seen him punt a, put a putt from one end of the locker room to all the way to the other. And he went in, went in. Yeah, so I'm kind of scared of whatever I play. He's on there. I mean, did Jalen get drafted in the MLB too? No. No? Oh, he might be not good at pitch softball. He's probably trash. <laughs> so really, it's probably me. He's probably trash. It's probably Jake Elliott than me. <laughs> Just no, like everything else in the locker room. Who was the high bowler when you guys went out? Uh, I think it was Jake Elliott. It probably was Jake Elliott. Jake. Then I gave it to Hightower. Did Hightower yeah, Hightower was good, too. See, the only reason I gave it to Jake, I don't know if he really did this, but they he really did with strikes with nine. Nine pins. I know I've seen Hightower bowl before, and he hit strikes with 10 pins. He had like pins. a 290. <laughs> yeah. He's good. He's real good. Now, take me through with Jalen Hurts going into his second year, uh, second year in Nick Sirianni's system. He hasn't had the same playbook or the same play caller throughout his career. How beneficial is that as an offense, and how can he handle this going forward and leaving this offense with a new addition as well? Yeah, it's huge. Um, you know, just having the second year going into the OTAs at this time, you know, being able to slow, break it down, uh, correct everything from last year, and uh, implement how we want everything to go. And it, uh, just no one – having the foundation and going into it uh, it's just easier to go through reads it's easier to uh, eliminate stuff before it happens because you're seeing stuff faster so I think uh, his game is going to improve a lot uh, just because he's seeing the game more and 
uh, it'll just speed up and it's going to be exciting. How's he been as a leader for this team as the second year being the starting quarterback? Great. I mean, from the moment he stepped <laughs> in, I mean, even right when he got drafted, he was a he was a great leader. He was a hard worker, and uh, you know, none of that's going to change. He's he's kind of took command of the team ever since he uh, stepped in the building, and uh, that's going to continue the same. All right, guys.